Welcome to Smart Women Talk. This is your host, Katana Abbott. I'm a midlife millionaire coach and a certified financial planner, and I search the world for smart women and a few good men, including best-selling authors and thought leaders who are on that leading edge. So join us for conversations on money, business, health, and inspiration, so you can live with more purpose, passion, and prosperity. Hi, and welcome to Smart Women Talk. This is Katana Abbott. And today, I don't have a guest. <laughs> so you get me all to yourself. So it's, it's a special um, show that I'm doing today. We're celebrating International Women's Month and International Women's Day. Um, I'm going to be talking about how women become inspired and a simple process I use with money personalities to help women release their disempowering beliefs. And I'm going to talk about our two upcoming guests. Oh, so um, I just want to mention that right now, Ukraine is under siege. And I want to start with this because there are tens of thousands that are fleeing. Actually, it's hundreds of thousands now that I read that are fleeing Ukraine. And while these tens of thousands are fleeing, there are many, many women that are staying behind to fight for their freedom alongside the men who have been ordered to stay. It's now day five or six of the siege of Kyiv, Ukraine, and the city still has not fallen. And I pray for a miracle. I know that um, there are 15% of the military right now that are um, women in the armed forces. And as this war rages, many women across the nation from politicians to beauty queens have taken up arms to defend their nation against this Russian invasion. Ukraine's women are empowered. On March 8, we're gonna be celebrating International Women's Day with the historical, cultural, and political achievements of women. Organizations, large and small, are gonna to come together to show just how women just how valuable they are. So here at Smart Women Empowerment, we are celebrating empowerment all month long. There are so many exciting things happening with women right now, everything from the Supreme Court to the basketball court or should I say women's soccer? Yay, it's certainly time. And there is so much more to do. So where does this kind of empowerment come from? Think about your life. Think about a time when you have faced your deepest, darkest moments. And think about how have those experiences affected you? Because experiences can be empowering and they can also be disempowering. Some of the most important work I do is with helping women identify their disempowering beliefs by going right to the memory, um, right to the experience and feeling where it is in the body. Do you know that all of our experiences that we have, what we're seeing, what we're told, what we hear, they're actually stored in our body. This is um, Dr. Bruce Lipton talks about this. Um, and I have a process where we actually move that energy out of the body and uh, once and for all. And quite often when we, um, when we do this, um, that disempowering belief that they have loses energy. It's amazing. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. So when we're able to move that disempowering belief out of their memory in their body, we move that experience out, we install a new empowering belief. So I call this my work with money personalities, and there are five of them. So we have love, value, security, recognition, and status. As a recognition personality myself, I remember, I just want to share a story with you, that I remember the exact time when my disempowering belief occurred. And my belief was, I am all alone, and I need to prove I can do it. This belief was formed when I walked into the living room to talk to my mother and my stepfather. And, and I wanted to talk to them about taking me more seriously, because they did not, I didn't feel they took me seriously. And I, as I was talking, they both began to laugh at me. And my stepfather called me a GDA. Well, I didn't know what a GDA was, and they wouldn't tell me. 
And so in my imagination, I thought it was a, some really bad words. Let's put it that way. And I just don't want to say it on the show. It's not necessary. But later I found out it was a great dramatic actress. So you think big deal? No, that made it even worse because it confirmed my worst belief that they really didn't take me seriously. And so what's interesting is the record, I know I can laugh about it now, but the recognition personality, they want respect, but their biggest challenge is realism, you know, pie in the sky ideas. So, so what I've found is, um, you know, this disempowering belief um, the, for the recognition personality is often caused by something absolutely terrible that, um, you know, happened in their life and they have to, they had to create another reality to survive their childhood. And in their mind, what happened to them wasn't fair. So, and thus the, you know, they create this belief that they're on their own. They need to push forward and do it all themselves. So that ends up in, in, you know, when I do this kind of a session with someone, we go into how that works and, and, um, and what to do about it. But what ends up happening is these beliefs that we create that are false or disempowering. Um, they hold us back from thriving. They hold us back um, from standing in our power with money and in every area of our life. So in my case, I've been a, it caused me to be a fighter, you know, and I have stood up for the less fortunate, whether it's standing up to a bully in middle school, um, going, having, being fearless to go door to door to collect holiday dollars for the poor when I was 12 years old um, in ankle deep snow for my church in, you know, Michigan. So freezing cold, you know, or standing up to my abusive stepfather abusive and predatory stepfather, I should say, when I was 17. And I still remember him coming at me in my room and I jumped up on my bed and I kicked him away. And when he came at me again, I ripped his pocket off. I grabbed his horn rim glasses and I broke them in half. <laughs> I was I was in my power back then. And I remember him saying to my mother, I'm done with her. I won't have anything else to do with her. And I was so happy. I said, hooray, hooray. Oh, so doing what, what's right, leading a cause and taking a stand just come naturally to me. And in my case, it began, this whole thing began when my loving father died when I was just six years old. He drowned and he never came home. So my life changed dramatically and I was put into a situation where I simply had to grow up too fast. I had too much responsibility thrown at me. And, you know, when I look back, although I, I never would want to relive live those times again, I found the gift. That's one of the things I have women do is to go back and look at their past to leap forward. And I found the gift. And so this gift is um, what I just shared with you is why I've chosen this life path of empowering and teaching women to stand in their strength, stand, you know, take charge of their money and um, identify their inner gifts and to bring those gifts to the world. So um, I believe, I really believe that there's always a gift. So today, um, I am honored to be leading Smart Women's Empowerment. Um, I want to share with you how this idea came to me. I was in um, the Ritz-Carlton in Washington, D.C. at a conference, and I had this dream of Smart Women's Coaching and Smart Women's Empowerment. I remember writing it on the notepad, and, and I showed my friend, and my idea was to create an army of smart, successful women who would each reach out to just one other woman and say, here, take my hand, and I'll show you the way. So I invite you today to pay it forward by bringing the women in your life to our free community so that they can learn, they can grow, and they can celebrate. We have, you know, have access to our online school um, where I have actually put my coaching materials and you can come um, go through my six-step process totally free. And it's with audios, videos, and um, worksheets. It's really a beautiful process and we have all kinds of other wonderful classes and um, it's all free. So could just come join, go, come to joinsmartwomen.com, 
So www.joinsmartwomen.com. And um, when you do that, you'll be part of our community. Just just um, share that too with your friends, if you would. So this month, I just want to share with you who we have coming up is um, I'm going to be interviewing Bobette Schrant. She, this is on International Women's Day. Um, she's the CEO and president of La Casa Center. It's a women's shelter. We'll tell you all about what the shelter is doing to overcome, help women overcome domestic violence and abuse of all sorts. Um, and because I'm also a survivor, um, I'm real passionate about the topic. I've um, volunteered there and um, led financial literacy programs. And they really have a, you'll, you'll want to hear this program and, and how you learn about how you can support women's empowerment in your community. Um, the, the other guest I have is, is Ann Doyle, and she is a returning guest. She's been on many times. She's with the International Women's Forum. She's the author of Powering Up. She's an international speaker. She's um, spoken for the State Department um, internationally great women's advocates. So we'll be talking about what's happening with women in the area of politics, women's sports and business. So with that, I'm so thrilled you've been here today. Thank you for um, letting me share a little bit about myself and, and why I've um, decided to do the Smart Women's Empowerment Program and host this show for over a decade. <laughs> so until our next show, go out and live with more purpose, more passion, and prosperity. Smart Women Talk is brought to you by Smart Women's Empowerment, a 501c3 nonprofit project of United Charitable. Music by Bill Lucas from his album, When It Rains. Available on Apple, Music, and Spotify. Catch us wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, and be sure to join our free community, at joinsmartwomen.com to access all our free Smart Women resources.